list here. Wow, the uh, ISD list is a lot of bombers. There's one, two fire sprays, Tempest, and tie, three TIE bombers. Wow. The objective has been selected for contested outpost. Setting up the obstacles. Um, the SSD will, will be out deployed, but it's, you know... A ship that you just drive straight at your opponent and hope for the best. So, this is a fun card. I like it. More dice are awesome. So anytime you spend a concentrate fire token, you can either reroll a die or add another die similar to concentrate fire command. Meaning with this assault prototype already shooting five dice out the front, concentrate fire bringing it up to six red dice and then a token giving seven red dice yikes throwing a quad battery turret on there is a nice choice um, potentially giving you another blue die in this long range attack and uh, triggering leading shots as well if you need ion cannon batteries that's one i haven't seen in a while that's a classic uh i really like ion cannon batteries <clears throat> this one either uh, strips away a token, and if there are no tokens, then it does one additional damage worth of uh, shields. I can honestly say I've never played it. So I've, I've played it quite a bit, uh, and I've started making lists that uh, have it. I think uh, it's actually going to be my Rebellion in the Rim uh, ship, <laughs> so I'm going to have an Ion Cannon battery. Um, okay. I think it's a pretty solid card. It's It's been eclipsed by... Uh, a lot of... Oh, there it oh, goes. Oh, there he goes. That's nice. Mm. Oh, that, that thing's so huge. It's such a cool model. So if, if he extends beyond range 4 of his deployment zone, I believe Owen would be able to shoot him right off the bat. So speed 1, IS, SSD from Derek. Yep. Going Owen... With Owen still has a ton of bombers to, to place. In fact, uh, that's Derek's entire list. So it's it's a really compact thing. Just three ships. A Sienery. To, and uh, Sienery. And there's no intel on the uh, the side of Owen. So Sienna's going to get surprisingly... Uh, well, actually, I keep looking through this list. Nah, Sienna's going to have a hard time. Yeah. Um, so... On uh, Owen's side, uh, double ISD with Modi, who in the previous uh, previous <laughs> game in round one, I uh, panned pretty hard. Um, uh. Uh, there's the face of failure, in my opinion. Um, he adds only a meager six hull between the entire, entire fleet. So we'll see in this game if there's more value from having Mon Mothma on your ISD or Admiral Modi. We will in my opinion, track. in my opinion, I have already made up my mind, um, and I think Modi's incompetence will be compensated by Captain Brunson. Um, so on the Imperial Two, he's got Brunson, gunnery team, electronic countermeasures, and leading shots. So a pretty standard uh, damage build, and a Kuat, which is anti-squadron uh, with uh, Agent Callus, ruthless strategist, ECMs, leading shots, and Ordnance spots. So just all out anti squadron and a nice complement of bombers. Uh, it, players shook. It's kind of funny. The Kuat might be better at shooting Sienna than most of his squadrons. That is patently false, but you know it would be I'm, funny if it kills it. I, 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 you are ultimately correct. Where if he gets into close range, I think that Kuat has a better chance of killing Sienna than um, the Rifa strategist the, the, is, is the, the remainder of his squadron complement. The Rifa strategist is the key thing there. Just have them <laughs> have bombers. Uh, you don't even need a. You don't even need to hit Sienna. No. You just <laughs> need to shoot in her direction, General then kill spring. your own bombers, yeah. and you'll you'll end up taking her out. Yep. So first activation, the SSD is going first, and he uses the pass token. So if you people are unfamiliar with 
Oh, again. A brand new token out of FFG. Uh, FFG are known for producing tremendous amounts of cardboard, so couldn't resist producing one more for the strategic advisor effect. And Derek is uh, also helping us out with our production value, leaving the token in a spot where everybody can see it, so everybody knows it's there. Now, there's a lot of uh, grooves in that SSD superstructure on top. Um, do you think that could be a token holder for... Um, I will start using it like that, but you might drop some tokens in there. First, uh, Gozanti going forward. Um, not, speed one. Looks like he comms net a token over. Not exactly sure which one. I would have Negative production value for not putting it on top of the SSD. <laughs> a NAV token now coming out on the ISD2. So, uh, sorry, the Kuat refit. Mm. So. The SSD has uh, gunnery teams attached to there, and this could potentially, and versus this kind of list, could get incredible value just simply being able to attack three times outside that front arc, given the nature of how ISDs, SSDs, uh, ISDs and ISDs. SSDs, sorry, both attack their targets being head to head, and given how they deployed, there's going to be a lot of head to head shooting. Both Imperial ISDs. Imperial ISDs, geez, ISDs have electronic countermeasures. Uh, this is a card that allows you to spend a uh, defense token that has been blocked by an accuracy, mm -hmm. which is, in my opinion, one of the big detriments of uh, the assault prototype, or sorry, the uh, SSD assault prototype. It will be able to shoot out a bunch of dice, but they're all going to be mitigated. They're always going to get a brace off. Yeah. And you know, the one way around it would be Intel Officer, which he doesn't have. So this, this might be a real slugfest for this, uh, for this ISD. We just see a nav token going to Speed the... Speed zero for oh. the SSD. Derek being cheeky, that is a nice move. Yep. So oh. both of the ISDs are out of range. Uh, so... He's going to wait for them to charge on forward and come into his range before speeding up next round. To be noted with this, this objective, the station does not obstruct attacks. Uh, this matters for ships and squadrons, but it will still prevent squadrons from being engaged if they are positioned within it. And it will not heal uh, or repair damage or discard cards or uh, recover hull points yep. for squadrons, which, you know, um, it's hard to say exactly how much the ISDs are really going to benefit off that, especially if they get parked. But, you know, so, we're going to have a huge, just basically a giant slugfest. So if these ships are ramming into each other, whoever's sitting on the station normally would be pretty happy. But in this case... It's going to come down to the dice. The station's not going to help you. Owen uh, moving all his squadrons up to hug the uh, Kuat. I think it's wise not to charge in just yet. Um, there's no need to take unnecessary chip damage from the Ravager. Um, the uh, built-in strategic advisor has gone off with a pass token. There's a engineering command revealed on the Kuat. He's banking it as a token. And uh, he's drifting forward. So, in this situation, Owen hopefully will be spreading out his bomber attacks between different arcs. So, tie up Sienna, and then just overwhelm the different arcs on those SSDs. So he drifts forward at speed 1, so he is now in range of that SSD. So, uh, if you don't mind me asking out of curiosity, why would you not want to just front load the same arc your, your ISDs are shooting? You want to spread out your squadrons along the arcs oh. so that your Ravager does not get value. So, you continually just change the, the zones that you're attacking uh, so you don't give him much value from doing a squadron spray. So, he's obviously going to be doing double shots from the front mm -hmm. um, against the ISDs. Okay. But uh, the question is, where is his third shot going to go? If you don't offer another shot against his... Uh, for, if you don't offer Derek another shot against Owen's ISDs, then he's going to be doing a squadron spray. Okay. The question is, where would he put it? And, and if you're spread out along multiple shots, then... 
you're it, really hedging your okay. your bets. That's fair. Because you're going to be taking damage from the uh, counter from his quad laser turrets. So you just want to you want to minimize the chances of losing any of your bombers. Fair enough. If th if this was a uh, an ISD, would you still do the same thing? Just uh, given, like, if you could overwhelm the, sh the ship as quickly as you could an ISD versus an SSD? Had that SSD been an ISD, um, I would, depending on what I had, I, I may choose to just dump everything in the front and try and uh, overwhelm his redirects. Uh, right now, Owen revealed a squadron command on his Imperial 2. Um, he has banked it as a token and has run over some of his uh, bombers but not dis displaced any of them well sorry he has displaced his bombers but not run over any of them um, with his ISD2 so they are measuring oh, range looks like he's just, just in, in range so here's some damage the dial is concentrate fire concentrate fire so when a friendly sh uh, ship spends a command token to receive, basically it allows you to spend a command token as a command dial. So you can have a concentrate fire token that you spend to add another die, which is very, very good. Now just making sure you're spending the dials at the correct time due to uh, Ravager is important for that. Uh, using P you have to use P at when you would spend the dial, or sorry, spend the token or dial. So understanding those timings can be really important for managing them. So, so we've got because our first attack. Derek is uh, at speed zero, he gets a blue from his QBTs, which is a very smart play because now he gets the ion cannon reroll, leading shot reroll. So it looks like there's two crits. So he will spend the command, adding another dice to his pull, which can be blue, but it's red. So an accuracy. An accuracy. He's debating. He's debating spending the leading shot. Thanks, thanks, guys. Is so that, they're that them showing that there is quite a bit of stuff on that uh, <laughs> SSD. Uh, leading shot, XI-7s, ion cannon battery, and uh, QBT. Yeah. If he spends uh, the blue to reroll the two reds, he can't get the bonus from his ion cannon battery. So he's thinking about it. Because if he gets rid of that engineering token, it's Eating effectively shot, removing a damage. So he's going to re-roll. So he's getting rid of that blue. He's going to re-roll. And what's he going nice. to get? Two, three more damage, I believe. Three more damage. So this was, this was a gamble that paid off for him. And there we go. So the ECM is ECM, just... targeting the brace. Redirect. Only one redirect damage. Taking on the shield and moving one to the side. So pretty hefty shot. Yes. If not for the ECM, that would have been nasty. Yeah, absolutely. So in uh, in theory, next time, uh, instead of adding a red, adding a blue there would have fallen. I think, I think that would have been his uh, wiser choice. Mm -hmm. There's, There's another crit. Oh, jeez. That's going oh. into the other SSD. Or sorry, other ISD. I'm going to mix those names up. Eight damage. There's going to be a Brunson. So he's still seven gonna, damage. Still no, he's used his concentrate fire. He might add his token. Brunson looks, on the double. Doesn't look like he's ion use cannon his token. battery is going to remove that squadron token, which leaves six damage. So three to distribute if he pulls out a brace. If he uses the brace, moves one with a redirect. Takes two in the front. Interestingly, holds on to his token, not to trigger Ravager. He, he, look, he has all four tokens, so you got the tokens. At some point, you're going to want to spend them. He so. is using a Navigate with Piet. And the Beast will turn. So the reason, why did he just spend the token instead of just, or sorry, change the token instead of just spending it normally? Because from playtesting, we determined that uh, having a yaw on the SSD <laughs> is a very bad decision. So it was removed promptly. So uh, he used the, the token as a command dial with Piet to have the option to add one yaw. But he did not exercise it. And I think that's wise. Simply because that, that SSD really fishtails. 
So he would be basically beaching himself a bit too early in the game. Next up are a bunch of um, filler comps that goes antis. They will be there for moral support. Mm -hmm. And double arcs on the ISDs. Now, last game we were cheering for the Nebulon B support frigate to take out the Gazanti, and our wishes came true. This game, uh, myself as a caster, am cheering for our lowly little comms net Gazantis getting some good double arc shots and potentially taking down one of those ISDs. That is what I hoped for, but we shall wait and see. Owen presenting a delicious flak target for the, uh, the Ravager next round by loading up every single bomber he has, potentially, into the front arc of that uh, SSD. Let's see how it plays out. Will Sienna Re jump in and pin down the entire fleet? He, a lot of posturing for what is anticipated to be next round's shooting phase. The SSD is uh, a little uh, peculiar when it overlaps a ship, particular uh, a squadron, uh, particularly if that squadron you overlap is controlled by your opponent because if he overlaps a bomber it's basically going to the very back of the SSD and you will never see it again. So <laughs> yep. uh, it's, it's something to keep in mind when you've got your own squadron around an SSD because if you run one over you're effectively killing it yourself. So just uh, noting where the squadrons are, he's got his tie, bo looks like his tie bombers are up front, uh, maybe gamma squadrons mixed in there. Along with uh, along with Tempest, which is a tie advance, but also a bomber. Looks like his fire sprays are tucked in between his ISDs. And yeah, so not all his squadrons are in flak range, but he's positioned it in such a way that um, Sienna can only pin five of them. Only five, <laughs> from from my <laughs> estimates. <laughs> Derek now weighing his options. What is he going to do? Does he use his pass? And uh, oh, yes, he, uses he does. His pass. Derek really exercising discipline here. Kuat, engineering. Not spending the token, just recovering two shields in the front. Medium range shot, front and to front. That's one of the fun things about his SSD. You put it on the table, you start shooting turn turn two. Very few, very few other ships do that. <laughs> and we have an Emperor Palpatine trigger. This is a brand new card that came with the SSD. This is his officer format. <laughs> Whenever a ship or squadron declares you a target, they must spend one of their er, defense tokens. Contain was uh, sacrificed to the Emperor. No crits. We did, I wouldn't cancel. And nothing seems like a cancel. Brace being used. Is redirect being used? Yes, he is redirecting damage to the side. And no real uh, special toys on the, um, the ISDs for shooting ships better other than leading shots. Just, just trying to be survivable and push squadrons. Hmm. Now the, the interesting thing will be once the bombers start going, how many, uh, how many tokens are they going to burn? Is Sloan going to be more effective than Admiral Modi in this particular fleet? Assuming that the bombers would have been switched out for uh, a blue die rolling uh, swarm fighters. That's your rabbit hole to go down. Absolutely. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah. I, the nose of the SSD is obstructing the Kuat. Next activation. Back to Derek. I, but he uh, activated a comms at number three there comms to anti? throw a... Yeah, comms on... Are they both comms antis? They're both comms antis. So, uh... More tokens to the SSD? Almost more tokens than it can handle. Almost. Not quite. Almost. If only there was a repair crew on one of them. Derek putting out the tableau of <laughs> what's on that SSD in the bottom left corner. It's quite a few toys. Yeah. That's always fun. That's one of the fun things about the SSD. I want to... It's, it's, it is the pinnacle Christmas tree. <laughs> it is amazing. 
So. I feel the best use for an SSD is really to attach it on the end of a long stick and use it as a spear to really get your opponent before the game so that you win by your opponent not showing up. I, mean, um, I think that's violence, which we wouldn't recommend. My apologies. But if we were to, I would suggest it as a bayonet. <laughs> a fixed bayonet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lordy. All right, so. Where are we? <laughs> where are we? <laughs> We have an ISD shot coming into the front of the SSD. Uh, long range? Red, long. A active. pitiful... Three damage, I believe. Brunts in the crit. And uh, two damage. One damage. That now, was a brace spent on the ISD to cancel one damage. Uh, okay. Living and Brunson spent. So Owens, again, maybe it's trying to uh, potentially bait out um, Sienna a little more, but just, just oh. Uh, gunnery team shot at the Gazanti, which scatters. Uh, for, we did forget about that, but. So the, the uh, second brace being spent by Derek on the SSD, because he did not see any squadron commands from Owen. However, Owen has positioned three of those bombers at the nose of the SSD, plus the three fire sprays at the back. Um, I think two, at least two of the fire sprays will be able to jump over his SS, his little uh, wedge created by the ISDs. Maybe not at Maybe this point. Maybe not. Speed 3 is very slow. There was a bit of a nudge. I think uh, we'll be correcting that. So speed 3 might not be enough to hop over. But he will take at least three unmodified bomber shots. Just a little more housekeeping here, the uh, ISD. Yep. A, a de design oversight, having that, uh, I guess, keel on, the, <laughs> on your large bases that uh, extends down and uh, makes overlapping rocks uh, terrible for angling. It's good. We've got a good housekeeping team here to really make sure think people, everybody's the game state's preserved. Both of Owen's uh, ships have now gone, so Derek is um, looking to activate his next ship. It is his SSD, Engineering. And this is one thing uh, SSD players learn really quick. you got to start engineering early, especially with Piot, because you had mentioned previous, you've got a whole bunch of shields, but if they're not in the right spot, what's the point? I don't remember who mentioned this before to me, but it's it's kind of stuck with me. The engineering command is the most offensive decision that you can make in a stack because you're up there, you're fighting, you know you're taking damage. Concentrate fire, you know, I think it's a weak command because it's not really committal. Engineering, no. you're committing to the fight. Yeah. Ooh, big roll, big roll. Fistful of dice being thrown down. There is, that's a lot of red. A lot of red. Leading shot, burn that accuracy to reroll two reds. More damage. Wow, beauty. More beauty. accuracies. Spending the uh, accuracy on brace, that the ECM being put into play. And then we're counting two, four, six, eight, nine damage. So five damage, four of which must be taken in the nose. Uh, that's coming in with the XI-7, uh, which is a great big ship killing thing. Uh, it reduces the amount of re damage you can redirect to one. So it tunnels through shields. It's, it's a very good card for big hitting ships. Bit of negotiation ah. uh, with regards to... Uh, Remembering uh, those ion do. cannons. I forgot ion about Ion cannon them. removing a uh, engineering token, so that is a potential two hull value uh, removed. Uh, if you consider the two rear shields being moved to the front, getting rid of that engineering token is like removing two effective HP. So, excellent. Second attack coming to the ISD. Second ISD. All right. Uh, a little we're more getting accurate. our magnifying glasses in on this shot. That looks like four accuracies. It's a very accurate shot. Three accuracies. Ah. Oh, there Two regular blue dice. Derek helping us all oh, out wow. for our OCD 
uh, issues. Uh, look at that. He sorted them by color, type, and uh, damage result. So he is spending the Ravager token. So let's pull up Ravager. So by spending this token, he is gaining, or he's choosing to gain another red, or another die into his attack pool, red or blue. In this case, he chose red. So he's leading shots away, all those accuracies. I don't know if he needs to do all of those accuracies. I think he does because of his XI-7. So okay. he doesn't care. Right now, eight damage, which will turn into four. He, he really needed one more damage uh, to get that uh, rounding up effect. Okay. Yep. But still, very good result. Just keep on putting pressure on those uh, ISDs. Slowly start wearing them down. Third shot so is going to be squadrons. Special, as it will shoot three times as opposed to the regular two. And with gunnery teams, or the first time I played gunnery teams with an SSD, it's like, oh, I can only attack twice out of the hall. Nope, I misread the gunnery team's card. You can attack as many times as you want. So three attacks coming out of one hall, or one arc zone. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Very cool. Uh, so one die on the Gamma Squadron. Accuracy. Uh, gamma happens. Oh, he doesn't have callus. Nope. Oh. Um, close range shot. Leading, Leading shots. shots on the red die. For one hit on one bomber. These are basic bombers. Next bomber. Leading shots. What a useful card. A one damage. Card. Carrying forward. Two damage. Ooh, got him. Man, if put the, that pressure on those squads. Get him out of here. Rerolls are great. Re especially are re really good. rerolling blue dice. Especially against squadrons. Man, like imagine if there was a card <laughs> that just allowed you to consistently reroll blue dice for no cost. Wow. <laughs> Oh, wow. that poor SSD, that's a rock. Ah. Now, what kind of rock is that, Jordan? Given the color and composition of it, I would assume it was some sort of felsic rock. Um, you know, I haven't quite done, uh, like, a mineralogical study on it. I've looked at, you know, you can only see so much from a hand lens. So I would guess it was some space granite. It's uh, very good for space countertops. Mm -hmm. um, and space tombstones, monuments. Mm -hmm. You could get some associated metals and stuff in there, but... Uh, now, would there be any rare earth metals found in a, a space rock? No, they'd be rare space rock. They'd be rare space minerals. Those are rare space minerals. Yes. Oh, okay. Back to reality. We have a ram. <laughs> uh, Jordan is a uh, geologist, so he is very knowledgeable in all types of rocks. He frequently lands on them to survey their properties. A ram occurring on uh, <laughs> the Kuat and SSD. So, so you say um, Marty is terrible, but he's already given one health to that SS or ISD. That's one less ra or one more ram. A, a single a single game does not a trend make, in my opinion. Exception. I, I, exception, yeah. exactly. And um, I stand by my statement firmly. <laughs> um, however, here, Modi is actually proving that the combination of two ISDs have a net raw HP much higher than that of the uh, uh, SSD. So Sienna's coming in and attacking the Gamma Squadron. Now, Gamma Squadron is a TIE Advanced uh, who has the Escort keyword, meaning it has to be attacked first, and Sienna is a TIE Interceptor with an anti... Tempest Squadron. What did I say? Gamma, Gamma. Squadron? I apologize. Gamma Squadron is a bomber that does not have heavy and has grit. It's uh, for one point extra. It's uh, quite the value. Tempest is another, uh, Tempest Squadron is a TIE Advanced. It has Escort and Bomber, as you mentioned before. Yes. And it's a fairly economic card as well. Underutilized, but very effective. Gamma let me down at Worlds. I'm very sad. A Liberty got away. A Liberty got away. Uh, anyway, so Squadron. Fire Spray is a little sluggish. That, 
uh, can we get a parking boot on that uh, <laughs> <laughs> on that uh, ISD? Uh, just like put some like silicone rubber on the back. Cause we actually might. Yes, yes, we can. How did they hear us? These players are so smart. I, I don't think we're that loud at the caster table, but parking boot is down. Um, we shall see if it's effective. Fire spray hops over the uh, formation. Uh, one hit. On Sina. Sienna. Skitter scatter. Skitter scatter. Counter Get two. One damage. Uh, so the problem with running Sienna by herself is she loses out on her swarm value. Swarm meaning you can reroll... Uh, a die attacking a squadron if another friendly squadron is engaged with said squadron. Sienna is a, a pesky thorn in the side of this bomber fleet. Um, she is taking one in this situation. Mm -hmm. But uh, overall locking down the, the bomber contingent, which is excellent for the longevity of this SSD. And Tempest as Squadron. we say that, proceeds to get shot at. Two blues from Tempest. One more damage. Accuracy targeting Brace. I think that he, Owen is trying to get rid of Sienna's Swarm. Sienna's oh. not going to last too long with this sustained fire, but uh, she's got to hang in there. I, I look forward to the days uh, where we have swarms of Y-Wings backed up by a transponder net uh, once uh, rebellion, in the ring come, rebellion in the Rim comes out. Uh, so that will negate all the uh, uh, yeah, yeah. heavy effects <laughs> on those Y-Wings. So you're going to have six, six health at a cheap price surrounding a rebel ship. So... Uh, that's going to run into a YVV fleet or a Des Ooh, Decimators. I love me some Decimators. I'm, I'm of the opinion that Mahler Mythel is a man of the time. <laughs> he's, a, he's a man that's been in every single fleet I've run since yep. the beginning of time. And I see no reason to retire him. Uh, it is now turn four. Uh, Owen has positioned his uh, squadrons in that singular arc against your better uh, judgment. So now would be the time to strike into those side arcs. Hopefully he has some um, squadron commands to uh, back it up. Ooh, but he's going to get a face full of spray from that Ravager yeah. if Derek doesn't pass. This is going to be this is going to be interesting because potentially a squadron token can activate Cena to maybe take out a Tempest, get some a little bit more marginal value out of her and remove some bombing power from Owen's fleet. Yep, that's the squadron command token is going to come in very handy. Wow. Being able to hoard, hold four different tokens, who knew? Really good. They're discussing the different ramming options. Um, Owen, Owen and Derek discussing whether or not uh, the Imperial 2 Star Destroyer can come in from the side to ram the SSD as well. Now I don't. Now he wishes he had an Eclipse title. I think the Eclipse title is the the title to go to, just because the the SSD is such a hog on the board. Yes. It's, it seems like it's a good value. Um, exec. I I would probably def personally I would default to Executor because sometimes I end up with more tokens than I know how to deal with. Um, Ravager obviously is really fun. Admiral uh, Piet being used on a engineering token to make it a dial. So engineering value of four on the SSD. So a bunch more shields moved from somewhere else or recovered. Front to front. Yep. Many dice into the face. Squadron token. Uh, he got him. Ah. Him. Squadron token on Cena versus Tempest. Four dice. Got him. One squadron down. Got him. Nicely done, Cena. So 17 measly points. Uh, prevented quite a bit of damage. Got 13 points. And here comes the attack. Very good value out of Cena. Now here comes the fistful of dice. Right onto the face of Admiral Oh, Piet. wow. How many doubles? Oh, that's a lot of doubles. Double city. Three doubles. Leading shots. 
leading shots going to be used to roll in some more. He didn't get the crit. Very oh. nice. He's missing a crit. But uh, so six, ten damage. It's going to oh, go down man. to five. So hull damage is going to start bleeding on through. One shield moved only because of the XI sevens. Two, four, five damage on the, the Modi Kuat. Nine hull remaining. Yep. Now he's going to the uh, other. Next, the the damage the damage dealing continues over to the uh, ISD two. This is where Modi lives. And. Delaying the die roll, counting up the dice to make sure that he's got them all. There we go. He forgot the uh, five. Aha, uh -huh, there it is. Uh, so he got his crits. Ravager are going to come into play. Token and dial being spent with Ravager. Two reds being oh. rolled in for the casino effect. Likely a blue will be burned to get some uh, re-rolls. He has a blue accuracy. Yeah. There you go. To re-roll those two reds. <laughs> oh, he's oh, going he's for going the casino for dice. Oh, oh my oh, gosh. Jackpot. Oh, that's another <laughs> six damage. Twelve oh. damage, ladies and gentlemen. And an ion cannon battery. Brunson is going to remove a double. Brace redirect being used. Contain being used. Yeah, the contain doesn't really matter. Ion cannon battery being triggered to uh, burn a shield at the front. Very good use of ion cannon yeah. batteries to oh, push a little bit more damage. Through. I guess he could have saved it for an actual face-up crit effect, but... Uh, then he still has a contain available. Yes. All right. Now, uh, Modi, Modi starting to take a little bit of damage. And so then... now the Modi effect is gone, and it's a brand new regular ISD. And Derek showing off his Krugar jersey, um, Galactic Conflict uh, podcast badge on the, the left shoulder. These are the jerseys that the Canadian Armada team uh, likes to, to sport. Oh, there's a double hit. Double hit onto a bomber. Um, the squadron spray begins, leading shots. Lots of damage coming out. Another one. Now, one other thing uh, about this SSD, it's rolling red dice, which is, you know, leading shots to dice that are nothing, is uh, using red dice to shoot at squadrons. Very few ships actually do that. Oh. Two damage. One more damage. One more. Those red dice have Red been dice absurd. empty squadron is beautiful. <laughs> I mean, no more no more hiding behind stuff, no more waiting around. The anti squadron is coming to you. It's a pity there's no agent callus to make it to double down, but to in this situation in this situation there's not too many uniques on Owen's side, so not much agent callus value. So I think Derek is doing great and Owen hasn't even started to climb uphill versus the counter one from the uh, quad laser turrets. It's it's Modi scary. time. Uh, an engineering yeah. command was revealed. Some shields were pulled from the back to the front to try and uh, plug that hole the XI sevens are are creating. I and think this is a medium range shot on like uh, our comm Zanti. An accuracy, an accuracy rolled, and uh, that's uh, Gazanti deleted. That feels good. Derek uh, counting to make sure that uh, it, in fact, is deleted, and it is off the board. That's a feeling I get. Every time I see an accuracy shooting out my Gazanti, it's like, wait, it still has four hot. Oh, wait, no, it's dead. Uh, now, had that been a uh, Modi Gazanti, it would still be dead. <laughs> Proving my point that Modi is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> now a uh, gunnery team, front to front. To front. Um, <laughs> boss Palpatine oh, no. spending, uh, some, oh. spending some stuff to make the attack happen. Uh, there's a leading shot okay. possibility. 
Uh, one of the one of the blues is being chewed up to reroll a bunch of dice for Oof. even more damage. Accuracies are hurtful towards uh, SSDs because they don't have the defensive retrofit slot. Mm -hmm. uh, Brunson getting some value on the uh, double hit, so two damage cancelled by Brunson. Uh, brace being used, and most likely a redirect. Redirect's scary here, just with the number of squadrons coming in, into his face. Um, he's got to do it because he's going to take a co-op shot, so he's, he's going to be running out of shields. Eventually, yes. Eventually, and he's just got to make sure that he's out of shields if he's going to go down. Yes. Uh, in, the, in the first game um, of the 2019 Star Wars Armada Canadian uh, Grand Championships, uh, I mentioned the fact that um, I always feel bad. I always feel like I've made a, a critical mistake if one of my ships goes down with shields remaining because it means I haven't maximized the value of my effective HP. So same thing goes for the SSD. Good shield management, good token management uh, really helps extend the life of a ship. Absolutely. So token discipline is, is critical. Man, so, even with that parking boot, that thing is skittish. Yeah. So he looks like he wanted to try and turn in, but so, is going to be unable to. Owen going for more RAM value, but I don't think he's going to be able to. I think, I think Modi might be ramming his own ships, and uh, that... Oh, so close. Oh, so close. It's hard to tell with the model. Over it's top. hard to tell with that, that Kuat oh, just bumping that around. Like, like at, at this point, come on, guys. That just get, like some, get some rubber and tape it down. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> now, one thing we ha uh, should be noted is Owen has been sitting on the station, and it looks like four turns. So he's come out to a commanding lead. If these ships somehow survive, they, he's going to have an advantage just simply on points. Concentrate fire token coming away from the Gazanti being comms net over to the Ravager to take full effect. Already, what, uh, sitting on, he's going to be sitting on 80 points from just the station alone. So. Oh, boy. Engineering on the Kuat. Just keep those shields coming. Two shields move to the front. Now, I, and another one recovered, most likely. So three shields boosted back. Correct me if I'm wrong, the Kuat has a, command, a squadron command of two, correct? Let's pull up the Kuat card because uh, neither of us casters as Imperial players actually remember what the Imperial ships do. Uh, I remember an ISD two simply because I have a card in front of me. And that the two Jordan, squadrons. I believe the value is two. Is two. Ba -na, ba -na. So... <laughs> Side arc, flak, and sienna shot. Um, so what I was trying to get at is it seems like the squadrons haven't been activating and getting the full potential out of them. I, I understand engineering is important for survival, but... Now, you'd think with Modi, uh, you wouldn't have to be worrying about survival because of that hull. So what you're saying is you're compensating for Modi... Oh. Yeah, sorry. ...with, with your command dies. Uh, so Agent Callus, plus one, plus, plus one, plus one die... Poof. So Ruthless Strategist pushes uh, one damage. Yep. The Brace would brace. brace it down to one, but the Ruthless Strategist coming through and finishing Sienna off. Yep. Now, we got a nasty front arc from the Kuwait going into the front of the uh, SSD. Many dice rolled. Some Many results. accuracies. There's another three accuracies. It's a good thing he's been spending those braces early. Yep. So we're going to start bleeding through uh, into Hull. I don't think he's uh, accuracy being used on the brace. Five damage showing. So likely a contain being <laughs> down to uh, about three damage. Oh, he's choosing what he's gonna. S he may no. He may not be spending. He, the he brace may here. toss his brace, but unlikely. Checking what's on his top dial. Uh, I think he's going to start taking all. Well, he just decides to take the five damage, and there was no crit. And Another a ram. ram. More damage being laid down. Two, four, six, seven damage on that Kuat. 
Seven hull Seven. remaining. And this is a scary thing with the ISD going first. It's going to mm -hmm. get its shot off. Hit crit from the uh, first bomber attack. There's going to be a redirect token spent. Two damage push to the side. No brace used. QLT. No additional damage from the counter. He's just going to keep on rolling that counter. One more damage from a bomber. Um, no damage from the counter again. Nope. You know, this would be a, a spot where the Annihilator title would have been, you know, fit in very nicely into his list. It's it's a niche um, title. I think, yes. I think Ravager is very good. I think Eclipse is very good. And I think uh, the Executor is exceptional in a uh, kind of team setting. Mm -hmm. So contain used and a brace used on the fire spray attack from two damage. The Annihilator is, a, in my opinion, is a little overcosted for what it does. It provides a lot of benefit because I, you know, I guess it was designed to be like, oh, this is going to expect a lot of squadron shots at it. So it's, it's a good, if someone doesn't have squadrons though, dead title. Hit crit Hit. from uh, the final fire spray uh, contain, take two damage. So 15 hull. We almost have the SSD demoted into Modi ISD territory, but at a slight <laughs> price premium. Um, one more squadron from the back somewhere, hopping over, and then the rest of the dog pile keeps on going. So hopefully we don't see the arcs because the SSD is so honking big. Uh, we're assuming that Owen has snuck those uh, bombers into side arcs. Seems like it, it. The front arc is, while it is wide, it is surprisingly short compared to how far it is down the model. Mm -hmm. So there's a good chance those are out. Now, the round getting... counter has flipped over to the blue side. It is now turn five. Now, one thing that we should note is the SSD is getting down into the crippled range. And if people are unfamiliar with it, if the SSD has received 11. Uh, damage cards on it, it will be considered crippled, meaning the opposing player will get half points rounded up, and that's including half points of all the squad or sorry, the upgrade cards. With Owen already out to a significant lead, just simply having uh, the sitting on the station for this long, that could, you know, be a nail in the coffin. Potentially, um, the the ISD the SSD sorry has to. Uh table table the two ISDs in order to really get the win here. It's, it's an all-in move. Um, and right now, the SSD has activated engineering, spending it with a token, so total value of six. Shields being moved, shields being replenished, damage being contained. Well, not with contained tokens, but, you know, you get my gist. We do. Right now, shield status is zero on the stern on the port side, zero on the rear, two on the starboard rear, and then one, one, and I believe the, the front value is three. Three, yep, looks like that. So hanging in there, many dice. Many dice. Many dice to the face incoming. Very accurate shot. Holding up our magnifying glasses. <laughs> uh, Many accuracies. Leading shot's going to get um, thrown out. Rerolling three reds. Not bad. Two Not more bad. damage. Eight. Yeah. With um, eight with the ion can battery crit potentially. Um, our our handy uh, support team zooming in uh, to <laughs> pixels. Um, Sensor team. We, we have our onboard sensor teams uh, helping the casting team out. So, so uh, counting up the damage cards. On Two, four, six, eight damage cards on the Kuat. Next shot. Ooh. Not, as, not as delicious as it could be. Spending the Ravager Concentrate Fire, adding a red. 
Another accuracy. Again, not amazing. Leading shots. Derek Gambling. Yikes. Oh, that's not that's not what he needs. Seven damage. Pushing, pushing damage. ECM used on the brace. Four damage to deal with. No blue crit. Contain, Contain and redirect blue. used. Keeping that ship alive for another turn. That, uh, you know. So they, does the SSD have enough to survive and uh, it's do gonna enough? Be, I, I, I'm now, willing to bet it might go down this turn. There's a good chance of it with all the squadron fire. Mm, I'm holding my breath. So there might be a double arc situation on the nose of the Modi ISD. And here it goes. Nice. Very nice roll. Oh, yes. Seven, Seven damage, damage again from the side of the uh, SSD into the front of the ISD. Um, quite a few tokens were spent in the last attack, so if anything is used, it's going to get tossed. Absolutely. And then yep. if it, Brunson used, tosses it down, down to five, so no crits anymore. That's nice to see. The ISD, yeah, will more than likely live, but it'll be very in a... In a Desperate state. What's getting tossed? What's getting tossed, Owen? It's got to be the... Well, it's got to be the just, just, just the brace. Brace is gone. Down to three. Tosses a redirect. Uh, not tosses. He just spent the green one, so he's fine. He spent the green one. He's boss, fine. Boss Palpatine is going to take care of those remaining defense tokens. <laughs> So if it goes on one more round, one more ram, damage is piling on. I heard both players breathing in with a uh, kind of a deep breath and then letting it aside because this is this is a, a math battle. Yeah, a it's good, fine. A good a good or bad roll can send one fleet home. Engineering nope. token on the Modi so ISD. Move two shields. Regain one. And regain one. So three shields back to the front. The yeah. park and boot not doing its thing. <laughs> Defective, man. You can't find uh, good parts these days. <laughs> it's always uh, it's a problem with uh, disposable parts. They don't make them like they used to. Two red, two blue to the front. So there are uh, three shields in the front. Emperor uh, Palpatine tossing out uh, a defense token. So three shields in the front and a, another three along the side to three redirect Three damage. Two. Not bad. Oh, four, four shields. shields in the four front, shields. we have been informed by the uh, over-the-table mic. Redirect going to be used. Oh, interesting. Oh, right. Never mind. He's got a large... See, I don't know. I think I don't think this game will be lasting. Well, I don't think this game will be lasting this turn, as I see turn five. But you gotta throw your tokens out now. Mm -hmm. yeah, there's there's no point in saving them right now if you don't make it to the next turn. Yeah. Because if you do make it to the next turn, you gotta kill stuff, or you're definitely not surviving. Fistful of dice, one less die from the front than the uh, SSD. So. Front to the side has been declared. <laughs> Here's Emperor Palpatine Got tossing him. away the, <laughs> the redirect. <laughs> useless with X, not useless, less useful than with XI7s. Ooh, there's a double. There's a double for Brunson and two blanks on the reds. Seven damage, no accuracies. It Does he... Does he spend a blue to try and get an accuracy? No. He's only going to... Not bad. One damage. Two damage. Brunson on the double. Six damage showing. Yeah. Tossing a brace. Or spending a brace. Yes. Brace to three. Is he tossing a token or is he spending his unexhausted one? 
Contained, not tossing tokens. Okay. I'm personally, I think you start tossing tokens, but uh, my apologies. I thought he spent a a token earlier. Ah, got it. So so three damage to the hull. It appears. Two, two damage two. to the hull. And <laughs> the imposing presence of the SSD claims another board piece. <laughs> um, and <laughs> Modi going for the RAM value. So SSD is being taken off its base. So as you can see, underneath its fur, it's actually a really small animal. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's, it's a shaven <laughs> cat. Guy. All right. <laughs> Apparently, Modi is going speed two for extra effect. Stand at speed, speed one. one. Uh, is that a ram? Ooh, yeah. Look at that shield dial. That's a ram. Who said yes? One of them cheered. See, if it was Eclipse, that would have been a face-up. That would have been that would have been real bad. Oh. One thing I particularly enjoy is the uh, instead of having the SSD model, I like to have the Imperial Slalom team, where I have a Victory on the front large base and an ISD on the rear large base. So it's a bobsled team. Mm. I I think I think that's my preferred way to do it. Interesting. Interesting. I, I, <laughs> when the onager comes out, I oh, just put one up there. Ab I, I, I think that's the way to do it. Yeah. I think that's the more tasteful approach. Um, oh, we got oh, double double arc, double arc value. Double, double arc, arc value uh, next turn. Actually, that's Kuat engineering. Kuat does not have gunnery teams, so that Gazanti might live another day. Kuat has a ruthless strategist. That's right. The Gazanti is going to take out that Kuat. Casters called it turn one. We're going to see it happen. Yep. We're, we're always cheering for the underdogs, um, such as Nebulon Bees with uh, Slave Turrets and <laughs> Gazantis with Comms Nets. You know, assuming the, ice, or the Superstar Destroyer just doesn't explode. Kuat unleashing them. a blast to the face. Oh, well, that's a pretty good blast to the face. Uh, how much damage is that? All right. That is more than five damage. Uh, yep. There's going to be a brace used. It's braced down to five. A contain used. Brace down to two, four, six, eight, nine. Brace down to five damage. That's a good chunk of damage. Good roll. Good roll. It only turns into one face down, though, as if there were four shields in the front. Or, sorry, three shields in the front. There, there was one shield on the starboard front side, I believe. Yes. But so, now the pain's going to be coming in the form of a lot of bombers. Uh, from experience, ten hull is not a lot of hull for <laughs> when you yep. when you start taking bomber damage. Nope. If you've ever thrown a, a victory star destroyer into a uh, <laughs> yeah. into a Y wing bomber swarm, hey. it does it oh, does not man. last long. Yep. Uh, just uh, as we've put in the chat, yes, it is the SSD is currently considered crippled. So uh, a scatter being used I on the token shot on the Gazanti. Daily? Oh, at the squadron. Squadron time. Uh, Derek warming up the counter die. Can't counter. Valen does nothing. Receives nothing. Another bomber. Blanks out. Tie uh, bomber. One damage. One. Yep. This is this is Star Wars Armada for accountants. <laughs> um, this is a yeah. What's, what's your expected value? What's your expected return? One more damage. Ah, uh, this is why I always bring Bomber Command Center or when I bring Tie Bombers. This feels so bad blanking out with them. Yeah. Counter. There we Counter go. Counter to a blank. Keep on piling on that damage. Fire sprays are going to be able to put some hurts. Oh. Bomber down. Bomber down. Something killed the bomber. All right, so that's one less annoying thing for uh, Derek to deal with next turn. QLT showing that it is a good upgrade Dude, to remove blue. from your binder. Nothing. Oh, oh, Owen's, no. Owen's dice are not kind. Two damage. Burn a contain. 
Okay. Derek exercising discipline not to spend his uh, braces because they will come in play potentially next turn. Yes. So, oof. There's uh, a lot of off-screen uh, damage on the SSD. It's five hull remaining. It is now worse than a quasar in terms of hull. And shields. And shields. <laughs> Uh, Owen is just racking up those tokens. So. Uh, both both players are uh, feeling yeah. the tension because it's coming down to dice. It's all dice luck. We're going into the last turn. So we're just uh, confirming the uh, damage out there. Looks like five on the cool. Concentrate lot. fire. Oh no. On. Oh, get okay, good engineering. Concentrate fire dial revealed on the SSD. Piet using being used with a engineering token to turn it into a command. Two, shields, two shields in the back uh, that he's going to move to the front and likely recover one. Now, uh, not to speak too loudly, but he should spread his shields um, to potentially mitigate uh, effects of squadrons coming from multiple angles. However, yep. he has opted to put all his shields in the front, which this caster believes is a... Now, there is a chance... This. He can potentially kill the Kuat with the front arc, damage the Imperial. I would actually what I would do is try and kill the ISD with your side arc and front arc, and then go after the Kuat. Not that it makes much difference, but by removing Mahdi from the table, you you know now, go with a threshold. I would I would I would shoot the Kuat first. Uh, excellent choice. He is indeed shooting the Kuat first. The Kuat has five hull remaining and a number of shields in the front, which is obstructed by the nose of that SSD. Ooh. There are two, four, six, seven, eight. Eight damage. He needs one more. Derek is mathing out. Three damage, Derek is counting. Derek is doing the math. math. So much math. Derek is counting out, uh, potentially ramming, rolling out the dice to a different result. Mm -hmm. uh, so he's weighing all his options. Um, so, so sorry, why he... would you go after the Kuat first? For style points. Ah. Because, in my opinion, uh, you got to kill Modi second, so that both ISDs are removed simultaneously, proving the fact that Modi is terrible. Okay. I was just saying, just kill Modi first, just to eliminate his incompetence first. Two, four, six, eight, ten damage, eleven. How much damage is on that uh, ISD? Twelve. Twelve. So it'll die if Modi dies. Yes. Two hull remaining on that Kuat. Front. To side, unshielded side, unshielded oh, no. side. Oh no! So no, no braces. No, no braces. That is a garbage roll, but that's okay because leading shots is great. Spending oh, boy. to reroll everything. Was the Ravager dial used? I believe. I don't think. Don't so. think so. That is a pretty good roll, regardless. Two, four, six, eight. Not bad. And no brace. No redirect. No. Oh, there is no. It's Palpatine stripped all the tokens. Yep. No brace. But there's still Brunson. Brunson. Contain. Seven. Seven damage. That should be it. If we can't oh. count. Do we can't um, count. One can more. Can we count? One more? No. It's... She dead. It's dead. Isn't it dead? No, I think that's only that's only thirteen. But one but that's side. Oh, there was a shield, maybe. Yes, yeah, shield. There was a shield. Yes. Okay. So. Okay, one more damage. And I think he's added dice in here. Oh no! There's a four. There's. Yeah, now Ravager he, now he's just, coming no. into play. Just. Ravaging it in. <laughs> Owen counting how many cards left in his damage deck. He might as well just take the whole thing and throw it down. But and so it here's, used. 
Here's the thing. Look at this. Modi, both of them gone. Removed. Here's the thing, gone. though. I believe Owen still wins. Does he? He's still tabled, but this ship is still crippled. But it's a full 400. Oh, yeah, it's a full, full now, 400. Does, now, even as the 2017 Armada champion, world champion, uh, what happens here? Does the round conclude? Yes, yes. So the bombers still go off. The bombers will still go off, and there's five hull left on that mm -hmm. uh, I, SSD. So it might go down. Yep. So that might tip the the game back in favor of Owen. And yep. then that Gazanti kind of has to... That Gazanti has to fly in next to the station Yes. to get that final one. That's a good point, yes. So... Oh, this might be very close, yeah. Ah, uh, some flak. Did that flak remove a... I don't think so. No shields on the rear of that. Three shields on the front. Um, there's a few redirects. Yes, so the... Um, uh, darn, uh, sorry, the fire sprays will be able to move back. Owen blanking out on the bomber. Blanking with the bombers. Uh, that is not what Owen wants. Counter one. Oh, oh man. Oh, Valen man. blanks. You gotta believe Next. in the heart of the cards, Owen. <laughs> heart of the cards. Next bomber. One counter. I'm not sure about any hull. Brunson. Brunson. That's a Brunson too soon. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if he's. A, he might be out of tie bombers. That could be. And he's got the, the contains to uh, hold. He only has one contain remaining. But he can spend both of them. There's only two bombers left, I think. Ah, or maybe I'm right. not sure. No. Blank out. Blank out. Good game. Good game. And then Derek scores another 20 points. So, 20 points from the contested outpost for Derek at the end of that. So it's going to be 420 to 303. Mm. That was a tense game towards the end, but the SSD pulls...